Hey guys, I'm Rosalvain, and welcome back to another episode of State of Mind. Last episode, we basically were uh, meeting up with Amy, aka the wife of Adam, and uh, we kind of took a little bit of a fun little look into a museum that let us kind of make our own weird thing. I did use... I did do some different things compared to the last episode, so now the balloon is red rather than the orange-yellowish looking color thing, and I put fog, is what they call it, uh, into the space instead of bubbles, because I I think care. I know that feeling. And I did put you know string it? instruments of course. around. Sometimes I think I've gone mental. Yeah, I put strings around the area or here. Or I'm dead. But this is... I mean, look at where we are, both of us, in this space, in this city. But yeah, I had to restart the whole conversation, so that's why the conversation from the previous episode is replaying with Amy here in a weird way. Um, personally, I don't know if there's an achievement for listening to the whole dialogue, or if I need to like do a lot more stuff to the, the museum thing, but the decorating the exhibition or something. I like the fog effect, though. It makes it look like we're walking through clouds, though. Alright, let's use the thing for once. We didn't get to go through the balloon yet. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you what I would do, Adam. I'd sit John on my lap, and to your somebody, I'd say, if this isn't real, then to hell with everything. Oh. Reality wants to kill us all, painfully and slowly and without any point. Mm. But we have found the loophole, and we escaped. Something like that is what I'd say. Interesting. That's interesting to see. Or say. Imagine a song. A song with just a few notes. Uh -huh. Restraint and stirring. Looping and fluctuating. Emergence of light. Iridescent and changing. A heightened state. Continual. Lasting. Peaceful. I feel like she's gonna break some kind of news to us. I don't know, but it's supposed to be a perfect society, a perfect, uh, like, thing, I guess. Like a perfect Welcome world. Welcome to the city of the future. Your city. Look around. Let yourself free. Everything is possible. Nothing is out of reach. But yeah, it's like this sort of, like, perfect world. Experience the variety, the change, the magic. That I can't really see part anything of it all bad happen. And be yourself. Like, I don't or imagine it. Be whoever you want, and what you want. Doubt and limits are just illusions. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the capital. Don't you have to go back to work? Mm, yeah. I should return to the dome. The governor will be waiting. Mm. Hey, I could come visit you there tomorrow. Uh, That's the dome? Well, you would need security clearance first. Maybe after we're done with Project Independence, okay? I guess this is a room of a, a space of uh, peace. But I don't know, yeah, as I said, like, it's too perfect to the point where I don't think anything bad would technically happen between Amy and Adam. It seems like Amy is, like, the type of character who is able to, like, still reason with Adam. And Adam is reasoning with we her. We should do this more often. Take care, Adam. And don't forget to see Dr. Sykes. Uh, it's kind of sad that we don't get to see Amy much, though. So everything powers down, basically. After we're done. Hmm. Oh, wait, she's just walking out. <laughs> Dang. What, is he somebody again? Oh, the technician again, isn't it? After him. I also don't know why Adam did not walk out with Amy at the same timing. Oh? Ooh. Oh, he's glitching out. He's not truly there. He's just glitching out. 
to the next thing. And that causes the geo rift or the geo ha uh, hazard. Oh no no, it's a data point. What the hell is going on here? Shh. What? Yeah yeah. The flip? Why would the crowd care about what I said? It's not even that loud either. This crowd is so weird. Can't talk to the thing. Can we talk to uh, Lun? No. Okay. Let's go and grab the fragment then, I guess. Because really, really, we really got nothing else to do anyway. This is so bizarre. I should send it to Richard. The sooner I am done with this, the better. We... Well, she did say visit the doctor, so why not? Visit Dr. Sykes. I honestly don't like that it's the name Dr. Sykes, because it sounds like psych. Gotcha. <laughs> kind of feeling. Like the word psych. It's just to, to, to fool you kind of feeling. Old man is gone. Old man who looks like Walter is gone. I repeat, guy is gone. Still gone. I want to check the area out before we continue forward here. I don't think we can call anyone. Yeah, we can call Amy, but I don't think I want to. Without halt or interference, without a trace of any quality, following the pulse of minutiae, Murder. no calculating, just heightened awareness until we have completely dissolved an omnipresent golden mist engulfing the stars and then stay there. Just stay. I see Minerva's talking to them. She looks like Athena to me more than than Minerva, but even then, I don't. I, I haven't really seen. We her. want to enter a loop, a permanent state of eluding, I of just, getting lost. I haven't really seen much of Minerva's like outfit thing, so I always keep assuming it's Athena in that capacity. All right, let's see what. Let's see if we can actually visit Welcome Dr. Welcome to the Sykes. Kurtz Recreation Center. Kurtz? Kurtz? Oh, interesting. Now it's changed a little bit there. Okay, let me see what's this. Artwork? Waiting? Forget about time and let your mind wander. Okay, whatever. Let's talk to this Mr. Newman, robot. can we help you? I'd like to speak with Dr. Sykes. The doctor is examining someone right now. Uh, I can wait, I guess. Thanks. Can I wait here? It will take a while. Adam, great to see you back on your feet. Huh? Governor, how do you feel? Hmm, all good. Every day a little better. That's what I like to hear. Is there a problem here? No, no. I wanted to visit Dr. Sykes, but he doesn't have time for me. Then he must make the time. <laughs> this accident should never have happened. Not in my city. I'm taking this personally. Mm -hmm. Tell Sykes to take care of this man immediately. Wow. Uh, I have to go. Get well, Adam. Thank you, sir. Excuse me, Mr. Newman. Dr. Sykes is expecting you in Cognition Unit 2, Hallway A01. Governor of City 5, owner of Infinity Tech, philanthropist and, philanthropist and world citizen. Isn't anybody a world citizen here anyways? All right, she said go to room 2. Or some kind of room named A O. Uh, uh, some kind of room with the A O two, or maybe a uh, room with a number two in it. I guess. This room. No, I'm trying to figure out what the hell am I going to. This room. No. What room do we go to again? Jesus, they just say a thing and I didn't get it. Uh, okay, let me see whatever door is open, I guess I'll go to. Oh, there it is. Whatever door opens for me, I guess, is I'll go. It'll be the one I'll go to. The room looks really fancy, though. A lot of shiny, reflective material, texture all over the place here. Which is funny, because this is the exact sort of, like, style of building my, my levels with the futuristic look I always go for. It's, like, very heavy, reflective kind of thing because it looks really cool reflection wise but even then that's kind of like eh over time i don't know it's just reflective is just like cool but then it's like to a part of it it just feels a part of me just feels a little bit like it's overdone i guess in a weird looking way not this room yeah 
E1, no? Okay, I guess. I know it's a room 2. Some sort of room 2 somewhere. No? There's, there it is. I see it. It started highlighting it. it. Started highlighting through the door, which is funny. Still having trouble, Newman? Come, let's put you through the scanner. Uh, okay, okay. Um, let's see. Well, I will probably come back to this for a bit. Give me a quick second. I gotta do something. Pull something off. And so, uh, I'll be right back. And, uh, hopefully we'll continue to see what the scanner does to us, I guess. So, yeah. After this is in transition. Alrighty, welcome back. Uh, sorry about that transition. Sorry, I was... It's a new day, obviously. Had to cut off and do some other things and then come back to this recording. A little bit more to go, maybe. 20 minutes-ish. But yeah. Uh, scanning time, yes. Uh, I was confused with Dr. Sykes trying to, like, tell us a scan, but... Even then, I feel like... I don't feel like the character needs a scan? I don't get it. Like... It's like a digital scan of a digital being, body being. I wonder if it's like, if Dr. Sykes is built to be like a lie of some sort. Like he's just trying to lie to us about how, he, how we're just like conditionally not, not in a good position still, nonetheless. I wonder if I can hack into his stuff, see what kind of stuff we get. Also, we did get a data thing, but I totally forgot to put so that in. there we go. So. Please lie down and relax. Nervous? No need to be. At Kurt's Recreation Center, you're in the best hands. Okay. I guess. Relaxed? Feel? Not at all. It's just scanning. I'll leave you here for a couple of minutes. Stay where you are. It's kind of like a weird MRI looking thing, but it's like very advanced and weird stuff. Wait, he's just literally leaving the whole room? I feel like he would not, he should not do that. No doctor should do that. Okay, I'll listen to him and wait. But like, no doctor should just walk away unless the thing is like in another like area over and it's like monitoring something, but. Oh, I mean, I mean, I'm not sure if we're forced to stand up. I'm guessing they're trying to force us to stand up as a player because they want us to be re rebellious about this. They really want me to stand up, don't they? <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling it's gonna do that again. Let's see. I'm wondering how many times will it take before it just stops doing that. I'll do 10 times. I'll give it a 10. This is 6. I'm so confused why they would try to make us stand up in the middle of this operation. This is dangerous stuff, isn't it? Eight. That's the eighth time I press the button to wait. Nine. I'm so confused by this. It's so weird. Ten. Alright, after this I'm gonna just stand up. Screw it. Because it looks like it's not gonna... Yes, it's not gonna do anything until I stand up, I guess. Wait, what? That's so strange. The doctor just like Okay, let's see what's what's going on here. Transmission and into the Julia Thib, access denied. Valerie von Stahl. Wait, isn't that that lady who was like put on ice in Richard's uh Richard's place? In the reality of things? Oh, that's very interesting. I don't know who Thib was, but I, I think we might have seen that name somewhere. Okay, that's another terminal of some sort. Let me see these things. Access information to MNTK VLR, VRL uh, 12. Okay. Let me double check the other ones. That's interesting that the names of people we have not seen before, or the names that we've seen before, are, like showing up as like a small thing. Daniel Sykes. Okay, that's no access. More Daniel Sykes. Okay. What's this note? Yeah, because we couldn't explore this room earlier, so it's kind of interesting that we we're able to <laughs> now get out of the seat and explore the room for whatever materials it could give us. Note from Daniel Sykes, written on one week ago. Uh, a toaster? Eric, put your retro garbage somewhere else. This is supposed to be a hospital, not some hipster kitchen. <laughs> Bro, 
Toasters are pretty good, unless he probably doesn't eat toasts. I feel like Sykes doesn't really eat toasts, but it's whatever. Alright, let's access this computer, whatever this computer is. Oh? Who's that? What the... is that? My... memories... Is that the accident, I guess? Yeah, that's the accident. Where are they? Is this... What is this? That's Tracy. Oh, it is Tracy. Richard's yeah. records. The voice. Oh. And oh. This. I've never seen this before. It's the guy, the hacker guy from before. But with a robot, I guess? Uh-oh. Is that a data thing? The data shard? Alright, it's another data shard, I guess. Alright, let's pick this up. Possibly dangerous. Yeah, let's pick it up before we get back to the chair. I guess what that- What did I get myself into? I guess that, uh, that whole, like, thing was literally just, uh... The whole data shard thing needed to happen in order to, like, uh... In order to, like, get the thing done, I guess. Wait, so... Oh, there it is, okay. I was just like, how long do I have to wait again for this guy to show up for once? Good. You may get up now. That is such a weird thing that they just don't know. It's weird that Sykes just walks out and he doesn't know that I walked off of the thing. Seems kind of weird to me a little bit. You didn't touch my equipment, did you? No? No. I didn't. Hmm. Then let's have a look. Why would I touch the that specific hmm. meter? Is uh, is something wrong? Hmm. hmm. What? Do you see or hear things that shouldn't be there sometimes? Oh, okay, this is gonna be rough. I don't want to tell him the truth, but I'll say no. Not that I know of. No. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Hmm. You did the right thing coming here, Newman. Hmm? Basically, everything is okay. Oh. But your scan has a couple of blemishes. Some doubling, so to speak. Oh. What? Like, uh, schizophrenia? Well, it's too early for a diagnosis. At the moment, I can only give you this advice. Go home and stay there. Ooh. I'll inform your employer and contact you as soon as we have examined the scan properly. And please, don't be worried. Worried. I know. Thank you. Interesting. So, it's just to the fact that, like... I don't get how you would be doubling. Oh, maybe it's doubling because we have been stuck trying to figure out what the reality is with Richard, or with Adam. May I ask you a personal question? It's about John. That is very what scary. What about him? I should probably keep out of it, but, uh, is he getting the attention at home that he needs? What's with everyone saying that? I would say no, it's not easy, but it's, like, everyone seems to be asking me, like, I'm doing something wrong with John. <laughs> like, they're saying that I'm doing the worst, being the worst father to John or something. But I'm just like, why? It's like... What is with this character being? Why were why are these people trying to go for like this weird questionable like state of state of like answering or a asking these weird questions? Well, his mother is hardly there, and I had the accident. So, why do you ask? Your boy is somewhat withdrawn. It would be good if he opened up a little. I mean, we tried. Nothing to do with you. Is this part of the test? Uh, I mean, what do you mean? Opened up. I really shouldn't get involved. I am sure you're good parents. Safe trip home, Newman. That but is... if there are any problems with John, whatever they may be, you can call us at any time. Why would there be problems? It's okay, Newman. I just want to help. Safe trip home. I'm so confused by that. He's just like... Nah, I won't. I won't help you. <laughs> it's like, 
I, I will advise you. I won't help you. <laughs> so you're my dog, but at the same time, you at least give me a sign of like something that you might want to advise. Because it's clear, clear as day he wants to tell us about how to do the thing, but like, or how to handle John. But it's like, no, they don't want us to truly handle John properly. Or I need to John. send Richard the data. Yeah, I got it. I got two new data, so that's a lot of data already. So we're just gonna have a field day with these two, I guess. Uh, to Infinity Plaza. I think it was Infinity Plaza. I believe Liquid Sky was what we went through for the museum stuff. Alright, back to the apartment. I don't think there's anything new out here, is there? I want to see if there's anything new. But yeah, we did see a hacker character in that little weird memory thing on the computer, but... I don't really know... To what degree any of it matters I guess like looking at the thing I'm wondering what really mattered in that sense Let's see if we can talk to John I mean the kid needs to talk to me I guess or we need to talk to him is he still sleeping my god this guy's this kid is just sleeping the whole day goodness gracious I'm, I'm so surprised that they're still letting him sleep all that time but it's like why why is he still sleeping? What's new? Wednesday morning. I really enjoyed our time together. I'm happy we could chat. Thinking of you, Amy. Oh, we just... Okay, so she just added the new note because she came home just to check on John, maybe. Let's see what we got here. Got data fragment. Two data fragments, rather. So, that'll be something. Insomnia. Wednesday's nothing so far. Date book. John Daly Tay at 10 a.m. Recreation Center. The present on sick leave for today. Okay. I mean, that doesn't seem like there's anything new. Alright, let's upload the two data fragments, I guess. Or at least one of them. I'm not sure how long this is going to take for the other two. Scan complete. Object ID recognized. Mm -hmm. Object sent successfully. All right, Richard, let's do it. I'm wondering if it's one at a time or if it's two at a time. I'm hoping it's not two because it's January 44, Sector 56, Manhattan, Soho. So four years ago in New York. Hmm. So was this like? Was this like uh, before they got married or during the time they got married? I can't tell by timeline of what's what still. That's okay. Damn, that's I just like how he just starts talking in the middle of it. And I just cut it away, cut it off. There. I should upload it immediately. Mm-hmm. Oh. I had to left click to upload. Okay. Oh. Hello? John. You must be Richard. John? Damn, what are you doing here in the cloud call? Does Adam know? No. Listen, you wouldn't be allowed here. You'll get in trouble. I just want to talk to you. Huh? Of course. It's nice to meet you. I also... <laughs> I also have a son. His name is James. Can I say hello to him? Well, you know, James and his mother aren't in right now. Are they together? I think so. Then James will be happy. Mm. For sure. Where did they go? I'm not certain. Do you miss them? Oh yeah, I miss them a lot. I miss my mom. Mm. Yes, I, I heard she's got a lot going on at the moment. John, what are you doing? I wanted to talk to Richard. I, I can't believe it. Yeah, you're sleeping. And he, he's letting it happen too. Hey, hey, relax. He just wanted to- You keep out of this. What? In your room. We will talk about this later. Huh? That was so random. And Unknown has sent you no, data. No, no. John, Enough. go to your room. John was sleeping though. Damn. But John was sleeping when I came in. I just looked. I checked on him, and he was sleeping. <laughs> Twenty forty-four. Okay. 
You have new cloud messages. Oh no. Your parents? You'll have to call them back eventually. Eventually? Oh, this is Lydia. I have to go finish my term paper now. What? No. What? What is that? That's that's not real. Huh? It, uh, uh, that's not me. Who? Wait, am I doing something now? Oh, I am doing something. She I'm playing. Awake? Barely, but she shouldn't see us. Something's wrong. Let it be, darling. What's wrong? Is she scared? Oh, this valley. Scared Valerie. of what? Heart rate's good. Blood circulation. We're pumping her brain full of nano liquids, and she's scared. I don't get it. I'm increasing her sulfuride dosage. Must be some strange fear of death. Everything okay, Jeff? I'm so confused. Something's going on. Oh, there's another control. We have to control that weird little thing on top of the. I wonder the if things go south, which one of them will get a gravestone—the original or the copy? Both. The one with forty. I hope Doctor Kurtz knows what he's doing, or uh... else I can hear you. God damn it, Ray! Sorry. How's the session going? <sighs> Lousy. The investors demand results, or else they'll switch off our lights at the end of this quarter. Excuse me? God, I hate these people. I offer them immortality, and they ask for a price. Fifty-five percent. Who's the donor? A student. Lydia Craig. Wait. A runaway. Homeless. No family ties. No friends. <laughs> Wait, isn't Lydia the one who called Her Richard? Her brain's being overwritten, and she's scared. Odd. Something you want to ask me, Jeff? Same as yesterday. What's going on in Section 1? Oh. Jeff, are we building a super AI? Look, I can't tell you everything. It's too important. You must be patient. Sure. How many times have I heard that line already? <laughs> we will change humanity. Oh, he looks we like will Steve Jobs deliver them. a little bit. Deliver? How? All we make here are zombies and terrible robots. It's sick what we're doing here. Humanity is sick, Jeff. We are going to heal it. Mm. Drought, riots, terrorism, a never-ending war on resources. Those aren't warning signs. They're symptoms. This world has been beyond hope for a long time, but we're the only ones to admit it. We're building a lifeboat. A lifeboat. Do you really think this arm saved my life? Ooh. Feels like there's lead in my muscles, like chronic tendonitis. We can't even get a damn prosthesis right now. Suddenly we're doing brain transfers. The arm is your mess, not mine. Hey, Ooh. now she's wide awake. Mm. Increasing sulfuride to 90. Oh no. So that means that Lydia is no longer a... Uh... So Lydia never had this, these memories that Richard should know about, right? Or like... Don't me... fret, you're safe trying to get it it's like a magnet with opposite ends trying to touch base there we go the oh no to New York has arrived we're stuck Boarding will begin shortly I see you have new cloud messages well uh, miss Craig this is mr. Minsky of the Ferthing and Sons funeral home uh, once again concerning the cost of your parents cremation You've already been made aware that as the last surviving dependent, you're liable to pay. That will extend your period of payment until December 12th. Should you ignore us any further, we'll pass the case on to our law firm. Uh, yes, but uh, you know how to contact us. And once again, my deepest condolences. There's a lot of noise. I can't even. Cloud messages. The doors are closing. Please stand clear. That's a lot of like noise, audio noise. So that means they brainwashed her and instill some sort of weird and memory in her. She's breathing. She made it, Ray. Then Blood circulation, heart frequency, all neural patterns have been transferred. Cellular structure. Oh. What? What is it? Her cells are rejecting the implant. Meaning? Oh. There are tumors forming all over her body. Oh, that's painful. Congratulations, doctor. 
Your lifeboat's riddled with cancer with a life expectancy of three and a half years. No. Investors will be thrilled. Interesting. Jeff, Jeff, why so uninspired? Don't you see this is it? The next stage will end all of our problems. No, it won't. The next stage. Hush now, darling. Don't be scared. Just a few more tests. That means Lydia's dead, isn't it? So that means... Make sure she won't remember us. Then set her loose in the city. Wow. Wait, so that means uh, Jeff, that... may I talk to you for a second? And that's probably when Jeff got fired or let go from Kurtz's industry in general. Ooh, what is that? Is that a robot? Looks like they're cloning her, I guess, in a way. Into a artificial body, maybe? Jeez, dude. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna end it here for now, but... Weeks later. Alright, we're gonna end it here for now. Because, uh, of course, this one's probably gonna take a bit more time. Actually, let me let it roll until I get to control it, maybe. What is this place? Do I... Do I know it? Okay, that's a good spot to, to stop right there because it helps us establish what's the next episode going to be. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode or another day minds and hope you guys have a great, amazing day. We can night to everyone for watching this. But dang, Lydia's potentially dead. And so who, who the hell was Richard talking to all this time then, if that's the case? Because that's four years ago, right? And they said that the, the whole tumor thing is like only three and a half years of life expectancy. So that means, are we talking to her clone? I guess? And if we're talking to her clone, how does she know Richard then? Like, how did they both meet is the curiosity part to it. So I'm, I'm very curious. I'm wondering what the hell's going on with this whole thing. It's like, what the hell is... Who the hell really is Lydia? It's just so weird. So that means that's going to become the next issue where Richard's going to have to talk to her and confront her to see who she really is because she might be a fake person, a duplicate doppelganger in her place but uh yeah this is insane twist there um anyways thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next episode anyways roz out